West Coast Comics. Hello, hello, guys. How you doing? Yes, we're back with another Q and A, uh, and I think that'll be all there is to this one. It's just going to be a little bit of a, a quick, shorter Q and A. Um, but yeah, why don't we just do this? Let's just do this. All right. So uh, the first one that I had gotten was from. Uh, I'm gonna try the. I don't know if I got this right. Kishan uh, Shada or Kishan Shoda. I'm sorry. I'm sure one of those is right. I don't know which, but one of them is. And they said, "Where the fuck is Andros? Can't be that guy uh, uh, without the hair." Just like my other favorite, Tommy Oliver. I do have hair. I have plenty of hair. I got hair all over the place. In fact, I have too much damn hair. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta get this shit chopped. Um, where is Andros? Uh, I don't know, but if I if I come across him, I'll point him in your direction. There you go. Frank Moss, if asked, would you ever guest star on your sister show Supergirl? Nope. Sukai Wolf said, let's rock it 335. Hell yeah, now you're talking. Uh, Kyosuke700 says, uh, LOL at 42 seconds. This was the last one that I put up. Um, I looked at it, yeah, it was like, somebody had said... Thanks for ruining my childhood. And I was like, sorry. I didn't know that I did that. Okay, so yeah, sorry. Uh, Stephanie Calvin said, some of us older people are kids at heart. So looking at hottie like you during your season on Power Rangers and now just makes our day, month, and year for some of us old folks. <gasps> I love you. Um... Nancy Conde says, Chris, you rock. No, Nancy, you do. You're much better at it than I am. Nelson Cuero says, you rock uh, in Let's Rock It, Chris, 335. You rock in Let's Rock It, Chris, 335. All right. I dig your style, Nelson. You the man. Zach Whitmore, would you be interested in playing some kind of villain or mentor type character on Power Rangers in a future series? Uh, I don't know, man. Not particularly, but I mean... Who knows? If it's written well, sure. You know, we'll see what they... If they come up with it, and it's really great, and I come in and I just beat the crap out of all the Power Rangers, absolutely. Sure. Uh, Lord Tristan, one of my one of my wombats, says... Um, oh, well, actually, you know what? He had asked another question, so I'll read that one first, because this is kind of a... Uh, it was kind of a two-parter... Um, a two-parter question, and it was a little... Well, it was certainly different. It was not something that I was exper uh, the, not something that I was expecting, rather. Um, I don't know where the hell it is, but it was something along the lines of, "Hey, would you ever, uh, if you had, what was it like, any powers from the uh, the, the Captain Planet show, Earth, Fire, Water, uh, Air, Heart, whatever? Um, which one would you want?" And, uh, I had answered it with something along the lines of, I guess, I don't know, I guess I'd pick fire because it's probably the most destructive out of, out of all of those. Um, but I also, like, I don't know what heart was for. So he says, I figured that it would be fire. Um, and as for heart, there was an issue of the Captain Planet comic in which Mati used the ring to connect to the hearts of a bunch of animals and then got them to rampage and almost kill a bunch of mother truckers. So once Lord Tristan explained that to me, I said, hold on, I want the power that lets me control tigers and gorillas and shit and lets me have them go out and kill people. That's the power that I want. That's, yes, I'll be taking that one, please. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was a little long-winded, but there we go. Uh, Anthony Pierce says, well, Chris, my sexy friend, I have but one thing to say, and that is stay awesome, my friend. You first. Uh, Will Brewster, hey buddy, might have missed you saying this in a video, but what does it take to be a wombat? You have to be really, really terrible at video games. <laughs> that's what we're all, we're, that's our level. Um, Scott, okay, Iwaniek, I am sorry, I know I'm doing this wrong, Iwaniek, 
I W A N I E C. There, I fucking spelled it. There. Uh, quick question, Chris. I think in a past video you mentioned something quick about the WWE, or in parentheses, WWF. Can you elaborate on your fandom? When did you start watching? Who is your favorite? And do you continue to watch? Thank you. I do not continue to watch. I have not watched it in a oh, very long time. Very, very long, long time. When did I start watching? Probably. I'm gonna say 1983, 1984, somewhere around then. Yeah. Um, who's your favorite now? Nobody. I don't watch it. I. It doesn't interest me anymore. Um, I loved it in the 80s when I was a kid, and then when I was on Power Rangers, it actually it had like a very strong resurgence, you know, um, because that's when The Rock and Stone Cold and all these guys were like, yeah, now we're the we're the new guys and all that stuff. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I watched it then because it was funny. Um, I knew, I've always known, even when it was 1984 and I was like six, I knew that the show was scripted. But that does not mean that it's not real. They get hurt. They get really hurt. Really badly hurt. And hell, sometimes they die. That's not a joke. That's not... You're not playing possum. No, they're actually dead. Um, but scripted, yes, it is scripted. So, I don't have any allusions to that. Uh, you know, I know. Um, moving on, Luis3593. Hey, Chris, big fan of your season is... Oh, big fan. Your season is my favorite and most rewatched. My question, if I were too lucky to be chosen, is your... My question, if I were lucky... Okay, there's very little punctuation here, so I have to read this slower to figure it out. Okay, my question, if I were lucky to be chosen, is your earrings... Okay. Are your earrings something you brought to the character because it was approved by the staff, or were you inclined to wear it and eventually like the style? They were mine. These were not the earrings from the show. These are much larger earrings than the ones that I had on the show, but they're the exact same style. A million years ago, back when I was a younger guy, I, um... Oh, what was it? I watched that movie Demolition Man, and in that movie, um... Wesley Snipes had these types of earrings. They're the... They're the hoops with the ball on the end. And I saw that and I was like, damn, those look really cool. I like those. And I got them. And when I went out for the Power Ranger show, they they never said to me, take them out. And I was like, screw it. Then we'll keep them in. That's it. That's all there is to it. They they did they didn't remember that I had them in. And you know, by the time that we had finished shooting the first one and it already aired, I guess they were like, um, well, can't do anything about it now. Whatever. So, yeah, that was all me. <laughs> um, oh, good. This is a good name. Uh, Little DX82 Mister. Maybe that's right. I don't know. You were my favorite ranger growing up. I'm also a professional, uh, professional wrestler on the New York indie scene as Ace Maravilla. Do you mind if I do the Andros Zebra Stripes as a tribute? <laughs> You're certainly allowed to do it. I would tell you don't do it, though, because it is a lot of trouble to deal with that. But, hey, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do with their hair as long as nobody tells me what to do with my hair. There we go. We all can live and let live and all that stuff. Um, blah, 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 blah. Mike Mike Productions. First, I grew up with Power Rangers of Space. Um, you to me, are the Red Ranger of my childhood. Uh, second part, my question is, if Saban asked you to make a cameo in the new Power Rangers movie, would you do it? Sure. I know they're not going to do that, but sure. Yeah. That would be a... That'd be a... an interesting... cameo. But yeah. That'd be funny. Uh, moving along, moving along, moving along... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Joe Webb says, man, you were like my favorite ranger growing up. You beat Tommy and that you are the best. I'll take it. I'll take it. Blood Dragon. Good name. Love that name. Hey, great channel. I have a question. If you were asked to reprise your role as Andros for Ninja Super Steel or whatever the hell Saban calls the second half of Ninja Steel, would you do it? Uh, that's, again, it's all going to depend on the script and... 
you know, what they come up with and all that, and there we go. But I guarantee you they're not going to ask me back, because that's just... My character has nothing to do with them, whoever the Ninja Steel kids are. So, it'd be a very weird, like, just... Hey, here's some guy from way back when. His hair was really stupid. <laughs> um, RJ Scott, if you could write a Power Rangers in Space and Star Wars crossover, how would you envision that playing out? I can't, because I don't own the IP to either property. Therefore, I have no way whatsoever would ever get the uh, opportunity to do that. But if somehow I did magically get the, um, the ownership of both IPs, uh, Vader would literally kill everybody. And that's it. There you go. Amber Lavergetta. Hi, handsome. Just wounding. I think it's supposed to be wondering. Hi, handsome. Just wondering if you would go out with me, handsome. I don't even know you, Amber. So I guess I'd have to get to know you first before I went out with you. Sorry. I don't think I'm asking for too much with that. Uh... Pan, Panda Man 4Z, Colorado Springs Comic Con is going to be August 25th to 27th, 2017. Okay, cool. Well, I will have a whole bunch of really sexy people look into that, and we'll see what we can do. Um, some people talking to me about, you know, hey, come to this place, come to that place, come to Foxwoods Comic Con, come to Washington, D.C., you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hi, Chris from Mexico. This is Soy El Javira. Hi, Chris from Mexico. I have a question. I know you hate DC, but what's your opinion about The Killing Joke by Alan Moore? Uh, The Killing Joke is Batman, is it not? Hate it. There you go. <laughs> hate it. I hate the characters. I despise the characters. Rando and I can sit here and um, we can argue about this all day and night and all that stuff, and it's fine. And he and every time that we do, he sits there and says, no, it's totally fine if you want to be wrong. I'm just like, fuck you, Rando. <laughs> but anyways, that's what we're going to do right now. That's it. Uh, good stuff. Good questions. Good comments. Good everything. You guys are wonderful. I love you guys. You guys are great. Um, so, yeah, if you guys uh, have any information about, um, like, a convention coming up and, you know, you want to see if maybe, hey, this old red guy can get there, uh, message me on my YouTube, I mean, not my YouTube, my, <laughs> my Facebook fan page. I will put a link in the description of this video. It will take you directly to my Facebook fan page. You can leave a message there and say, hey, you know what, there's this convention coming on and, I don't know, maybe you can get in touch with the owner or whatever and see if you guys can come and then we'll do that. We'll see what we can do. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie, guys. So that's it. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>